All right, welcome guys. Today's video finds us over here in Ayutthaya. And as you can see right behind me, I'm standing on the banks of, I think this one right here is the Lobbery River and then it runs into the Chow Praia River right over here. So uh, we're over here just south of the main island of Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya, the old island is right over there. So we're gonna take a look here at Wat Nang Khoi, I believe is how you say it. And it's a temple that goes back to 1587. And it has a little bit of interesting stuff. We're mainly gonna look at the, uh, the main Buddha image of uh, the lady that's here. Or there's one that's uh, carved from a tree that's of the lady. And then there's a, a sandstone Buddha that goes back to about the 11th century or so. And we're gonna look around the grounds and uh, it's, this will be a short little video. I just thought this place was kind of interesting. So let's take a look. So what's important about this temple is it's right here on the river and there would have been ferry crossings and all of that. And if you look right over there, you can see just past those trees, that is the Prompet Fort or the Diamond Fort. So this would have been really a strategic place. This was built right after the first uh, war where the uh, Burmese took over Ayutthaya, the White Elephant War. And it, that ended in like 1586 and this temple was built a year later. And it was, uh, it's named after uh, the Lady Khoi, which is a really, uh, she was like a, like a really wealthy woman and she built this temple. So uh, during the fighting of the second Burmese war, this uh, would have been occupied by the Burmese troops because of its location next to the, uh, the Prompet Fort. They'd have a, a straight shot to be able to see it. Now this, uh, this temple was abandoned after the fall of Ayutthaya. So the second time that Ayutthaya fell in the 1760s, this temple was abandoned, like pretty much everything here in Ayutthaya. And it just left, it was just left abandoned out here until uh, King Rama III came in and restored this under the Bangkok era. Now uh, there was, this area was famous for some of these Tachyon trees. And uh, you'll see ties that will come over and they'll wrap these trees with cloth. And uh, it supposedly houses the, uh, like the lady's spirit, the female spirit. And there was a really famous Tachyon tree that's been worshipped, or they would wrap the cloth around it. And it was right here. And in uh, like the 1990s, 95, 96, there was some serious flooding. And it killed most of these trees that were here. And uh, this one here was a really a famous uh, tree and important. So this one died, and what they did is somebody came over here, they cut the tree down, and then they, uh, they carved a wooden image out of the tree stump. So that's what's housed in this little, uh, little wee hand right here. And they built this building here in 2000. Right, so they have the little statue there that people come and stick the gold leaf on. And then uh, let's go in here and look at this one. So they have the statue here, and I thought at first this one was the, uh, the actual image made from the, uh, the tree, but it's not. This is just a, uh, another carving. The tree is in another building, and they talk a little bit about it. So uh, in here they have all the normal stuff, the shrine, and uh, the monks will sit right here and give out the blessings, and they have all the food and stuff that people have donated. It feels pretty nice in here. This is all got AC. All right, so let's look around this temple a little bit more. This is what I was talking about, how the ties will wrap these cloths around these trees and it will, uh, to them, it will house the spirit. And you'll see them, they'll pass these. Hello, hello, hello. hello kids. <laughs> so you'll see the ties, they'll pass by these trees and they'll honk the horn. And uh, that's to uh, acknowledge the spirits and stuff like that. So here is the old ordination hall. And this one here houses the, uh, the uh, sandstone Buddha that's uh, from the 11th century. And you can see it does have a few of the old chetties. And then here's the temple wall. And this was all derelict. This would have been an arch right here that you would have walked under. And they've restored the, most of the wall, but they haven't rebuilt the wall or the archway, the gate. 
It has some of these old Chetties. Yeah, I like the Chetties here. These are quite nice. And then here is the, uh, the ordination hall. And I'm not sure about how old this temple building is. It uh, was built on the, like the ruins of the original. And it was built under the Bangkok era whenever they rebuilt it. So it would have been Rama three would have been like the 1820s or so. I could be wrong on the date. And then right up here, this is the, uh, the sandstone Buddha. And I just have it sitting out here on the front porch. Now it's uh, too big, it looks like, for it to be easily stolen. A lot of these artifacts and stuff like that, they're really careful anymore because there will be thieves that will come over and, uh, and pack them off. So this one is made out of sandstone and it's uh, almost a thousand years old or so. That's what the, uh, the head monk here told me. So this temple has three doors across the front. So a lot of these are like royal temples. That middle door and it's blocked off. It's uh, stuff like that is generally it's only reserved for like the, the king if they come. And I'm not aware if the kings ever came to this temple. And this is the inside of this ordination hall. You can see it still has the like the wooden doors. There's no murals or anything painted in here. It's just the uh, the white walls, and they didn't put the like the wooden slats across this the ceiling. Like you'll see a lot of these, they just have it kind of open so you can see the uh, the tiles. And then this is their uh, their images here, and some of them are pretty nice. They have some that are that look pretty old. I'm not sure about the main image how old it is. But some of these here look like they're, uh, they're bronze and they have kind of an interesting facial feature. It's not really the Ayotia style. It has kind of like, a, like puffy cheeks, which is a little bit different. And then some of those over there. Yeah, there's not a whole lot more to this temple. I just wanted to see that wooden uh, image of the, uh, the May Koi Tong, I think is how you say it. All right, there wasn't a whole lot more to see inside there. And we can see this chetty right here. So it has like the uh, corn cob top. It's like the Khmer style. And then it would have had a place right here for the, the little relic. And it looks like they've restored this in uh, probably the same time that they uh, restored this main building over here. And then there's some more stuff that was here, probably some chetties and some other buildings. And then they have some of the newer stuff. And then you can kind of see the construction of this. So it's uh, the three-tiered roof. It's the Bangkok style with those like uh, square columns and all of that. And then uh, this other little chetty over here is pretty nice that has the bell shaped. And then it has the 12-sided base that you see a lot in the uh, Ayutthaya style. All right, so one more little look here at the uh, main ordination hall. It's nice enough. It's just a simple little temple. And then the rest of the temple grounds just kind of sprawls around out here underneath all of these trees. And there's some new other buildings, general purpose stuff. And this is an active temple, so there are monks here. So if you wanted to come over here, they are here to do all their stuff. All right, so they have this shrine right here. Now, this is the... Uh, the image of the May Koi Tong. And you can see that is the tree stump. So this is where they carved it out of, not that other one. The other one is just a, a wooden statue. So this has got the female spirit in it. I was mistaken about that other. And you can see this is where the tree died and it, uh, you can see how they've just uh, left the tree stump there and then they carved it over here. Yeah, that's pretty neat. So they have a picture of what the tree looked like before. So you can see here's the floodwaters down below and it flooded the, all the halls and the little bell tower and everything. And it was all underwater. And this is kind of a high point away from the river, but when the Chao Praia gets a lot of water, it does flood. And it'll flood all of Ayutthaya here. All right, guys, that finishes up our little video over here at what? Nang Khoi, or the uh, Monastery of the Lady Khoi. 
It's a nice enough little temple. It's just a small temple kind of built here in this little, uh, uh, it's kind of a little local temple here. There's houses and stuff all around it. And it just seems like a kind of a little country temple. It's uh, kind of quiet around here. So it's nice enough. It goes back to, uh, you know, 1587. There's not a whole lot that remains of those times, but it's, uh, it's worth a short little look. Uh, but it's a pass if you uh, are short of time for sure. There's not a whole lot more to see here. So anyway, if you liked the video, make sure you click like and subscribe and share it with your friends if you'd like. Leave me a comment down below, tell me what you think. If you have uh, any knowledge about this temple or you want me to see something else, tell me in a comment. And uh, if you want me to do something, I'll do my best to go see it. So uh, anyway, smash the like, subscribe and share and comment. And until next time guys, remember, life is a journey. So enjoy. Mm -hmm.